this part, we will talk about the details of Whittaker's classification. The classification which was given by Whittaker was the Five Kingdom classification. Kingdom classification. And we have already seen that there were two kingdom, three, four, and five, and even six kingdom classifications which have been given. So, why are we still following this five kingdom classification? And what are those parameters or criteria on which this classification was based? This is a natural classification. Natural classification means when almost all the parameters are taken into account. So when Whittaker wanted to classify these living organisms, he used criteria like cell type, presence or absence of nucleus, cell wall, the type of nutrition which they show, organization, that means whether it is made up of a cell level or a tissue level or do they show organ and system level of organization. So keeping all these things in mind, this five kingdom classification was given. So we will take all the details and we will try to compare but a brief outline on the basis of male criteria which were taken and we will go from lower to higher. So the first criteria which was taken was the complexity of the cell. So which cell is a simple cell and which cell is a complex cell? Now here prokaryotic cells are the simplest cells and eukaryotic are the advance. So this was one criteria which separated prokaryotic cells. So this was like the simplest one and the other group included eukaryotic cells. So initial level was on the basis of what type of cell is it. Complexity means whether it is having proper defined nucleus or is it without nucleus, is it having organelle or not. As we said there are multiple things but here we are summing them up into a smaller or a more crisp category. So now all the prokaryotes were placed in kingdom Monera. So this was the first kingdom which included only prokaryotes. Now the other group which was left was of eukaryotes. So the second criteria which was used was the complexity of organism. That means which organism is simple organism and which one is a complex. So if the organism is one cell or unicellular that would be considered as the most simple organism. And if they are multicellular then they would be considered as the complex ones. So this was the second level. So, unicellular eukaryotic cells or the group which had only unicellular eukaryotic group or uh, cells that made pro, sorry, protista. Protista was the second kingdom. So, Monera and protista. Now, what was in the upper group now? It had multicellular organisms and here there were unicellular eukaryotic cells or organisms. So this was protista and now there was one more group which included almost all multicellular. There are certain exceptions like yeast and all. And the third criteria which was used was the mode of nutrition. So now the group had only multicellular eukaryotic organisms. These were all eukaryotic organisms. And now there was the criteria of mode of nutrition. So there were three categories which were identified. And these three categories were, these were autotrophs, 
then there were saprophytes and heterotrophs. All autotrophs were placed in kingdom plenty. All saprophytes were placed in kingdom fungi. And all heterotrophs were placed under kingdom animalia. So this is how five kingdoms were given by Whitaker. All individual characteristics were clubbed into three main characteristics. So when they say complexity of cell, everything is included under this. And now we will talk about the characteristics of all these groups at individual level. So say we talk about Monera, Protista, then Planty, Fungi, and Animalia. Suppose these are the five kingdoms that we are talking of. So this is Monera, this is Protista, this is Planty, this one is Fungi, and say this is Animalia. Now let us compare all these five on the basis of the criteria. Say first, we are talking about the cell. Whether they are unicellular or multicellular. So this is unicellular, this is unicellular, these are multicellular, multicellular and multicellular. In fungus, yeast is an exception. Then, the next thing is presence or absence of nucleus. Whether they have nucleus or not. So, here nucleus is absent, present, present and all of them have nuclei. That is why they are all eukaryotic and this, was it, this one is prokaryotic. Then, let us talk about organelle. All membrane bound structures, that means mitochondria, endoplasmic, Golgi and all. Here, all of these structures are absent. Here, present, 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 present. That means, we are again talking about the eukaryotic cells. Now, let us come to cell wall. In case of Monera, the cell wall is present and it is made up of peptidoglycan. In case of protista, some have cell wall. Some have cell wall. And in case of planty, almost all have cellulosic cell wall. So cell wall is made up of cellulose. In case of fungus, the cell wall is made up of chitin. And in case of animalia, cell wall is absent. Now, coming to the mode of nutrition, how do they obtain their nourishment? Monera, they can be autotrophs, heterotrophs or saprophytes. So, it can be auto, hetero or saprophytes. All types or all modes of nutrition are shown by this. In case of protista, they can be autotrophs, heterotrophs. And when we are talking of heterotrophs, they can also be parasitic. They can be saprophytes also. So, here also variety of modes of nourishment are there. In case of planty, they are all autotrophs. Here, there is no heterotrophic mode of nutrition. Fungi. All fungi are saprophytic. That means they depend on dead and decaying organic matter. And animalia, they are all heterotrophs. And when we talk of heterotrophs, we also include the parasitic mode of nourishment. So when we talk of all main categories, the main categories are these three. But these three main categories have been derived by summing up all individual things. That means whether it is unicellular, multicellular, whether they have organelle or not, even organization. This is a cellular level organization because it is single cell. 
this is also a cellular level here in case of plantae we have tissues in case of fungi also tissue system is there but the tissues are loosely arranged and in case of animalia the tissue system organ system everything is properly developed so every category or every criteria was taken into account and that is how this five kingdom classification was given by Britain. Now in the next part we will start with kingdom Monera that will be this one and we will be talking about the bacteria structure and their life.